Right then. Covered quite a bit of ground, girl. Still able to do it, Sheila. Still able to do it, girl. I'm so getting a little twinge in my thigh, which I do get um, not very often. It's sort of quite tender and it, it's almost like knotting a bit. It's a funny place to have a twinge, isn't it? It's not like in your calf or the back of your thigh. It's at the front. <laughs> The body saying, oh look, don't forget me, I'm old now. So you know when you go on these walks, you're not old yet. There will come the time, I know, because I could easily have cut this short today. But I thought, no, this is the perfect day today to do this walk. This beautiful, beautiful walk. Where you really feel you've had a walk. You know, and you've got the hot sun warming your bones. Oh, it's beautiful, I tell you. You must keep the hat on, actually. Yeah. Keep the lid down. What happens, we're going to be going into the sun quite a lot uh, on the turn. Now, when I get to that big tree over there, or near that big tree, I'm going to stop, find the time, which I haven't looked at for a long time, find the time, drink a water, finish the juice, and find some food. Something to nibble now. I think my cheese and not tomato. No, I'm not having them. Until I get, on, until I'm sort of on the way through Piney Sites because I've got the wobbly lane skirting Longwood to do yet. In fact, that's the only hill I've got to do. So basically, I don't want to eat big cheese until I've got up there. I'm, oh, I know where I normally eat my cheese, on the way across a long sheep field. Yeah, that's where I have the cheese. But I've got my little crispy dip to have. And uh, I need an orange. I just need a little bit of sustenance now. Get into that kind of It's around the corner from this big tree actually, but I'm going to stop. So I'm going to tune off for a minute. Right then. My Kodak is having a break. Uh, I knew it would do that. It did that last time I had a rest. Um, it's, it's, it's way of recovering, so it's having a break for now. It's still charging up. Uh, I'm just leaving it. I've got the little Sony with no viewfinder. Doesn't do very good pictures always. It's very temperamental. So I'm leaving. I've just had a picnic here. Check the time. We've got about three hours, so we won't really be long before we're going through Longfield, to be quite honest. This section here doesn't really take long. Uh, we sort of curve around a bit and then we'll be going up towards the old wobbly track near Longwood, across Longfield, Pioneer Slides. So, in theory, I'm going to check the time again in a minute. I'm sure it said something like 10 to 3. It could have been half past 3. I'm not quite sure. I'm going to have to look again in a minute. Um, in fact, I'll look now. I've put, I've put the... I've put it in my bag, small bag now, for ease of recovery. So let's just check it again. Yeah, it's 3 o'clock. In fact, we've got three hours and 15 minutes to get back. And to be quite honest, we should be able to do that with ease. Um, we're on the way back now and uh, we've done the big, 
this is still a big part of the hike don't get me wrong but we've done a um, big chunk to be, quite, to be quite honest the first part was the big chunk and uh, I, I nearly questioned whether to do it and I said no do it now I'm glad uh, Kodak's having a break because it's hard work really is hard work with it is heavy, see, and I have to carry the charger as well. Um, so it might even be that the memories run out. I might not have emptied it properly. I don't know. And I've got this little tiny camera. It's so tiny. It's unbelievable. So we've got to weave all the way in. Right over to there now. This is an old rail track, which I've mentioned before, for that the uh, miners would use to shovel in their slag and all that sort of thing. There's little walls hidden behind there. There's lots of hidden features. Lots of hidden stuff in those woods. Um, if you had that LiDAR thing, you'd be able to see a lot. Hell of a lot. I suspect they've already done it. Right, well, I've had... Um, a cheese, a cheese, crispy cheese roll dip, um, nice and crispy. Didn't it was tasted nice. Um, I've got a fruit bar to have in a minute and an orange. I've had me, I've done my fruit juice. I could have brought another fruit juice in theory because I haven't really been finding the water a problem to carry. I've got one whole bottle of water and a three quarters of a bottle um, to be quite honest that should get me back to cheddar and once I get to cheddar I can always if something's open I can always buy some water or fill it up a bottle with some water so there you go folks Kodak's having a break and uh, I'm walking in this heat, got me hat on, protects your head you see, um, um, and I am taking regular gulps of water, um, like I said I'm very exposed now for the rest of the walk until I get to go up the little track by Longwood, the little wobbly trap, track. There might be some shelter, they, though they did cut a lot of trees down from ash die back last winter. So it's just, like I said, I've known it hotter than this. I have known it hotter. Now I'm doing a video because this one isn't very good with photos. Uh, the other thing is I have videoed this, like I said, many times. I've videoed it many times. I might have a little break now. Just take the odd photo. Or if I see anything in particular, I'll come back on the video. I don't really know how the photos will be. It's very temperamental, the camera. But it still will provide video. Which is better than nothing. Seeing as Kodak is probably going to be to sleep for the rest of the day did that last time it wasn't an expensive camera but it, it, it's worked really hard today and uh, it's taken a rest that's why you must always take two cameras at least out so that's what I'm doing so I'm following an old track an old railway track a little small gauge one probably and all this would have been a hive of activity, folks. This is the lead mining area, surface mining. All this is man-made, piled up. And uh, this would have been a hive of industrial activity, basically. Over and out. Right, folks, this is very exposed where I am now. And it's very, very hot. When I get to those trees over there, I'm going to have a cool down. Yeah, it's, it's 
it's, it's quite hot now. This is the peak of the heat, just after three o'clock. Uh, it's not going to get any cooler, but that breeze has gone at the moment, so it's like dead heat in the middle of the, like it's like a desert here. I'm going to have a stop there, an orange, and another drink of water in the shade of the, the tree there. Let me just get around the corner. I'm going to have a bit of shade for a minute. Just straight down there. Looks like somebody's been right down here with a mower, doesn't it? There's not a lot of shade, but uh, we would take advantage wherever we can. And this is all velvet bottom, everyone. All velvet bottom. Of course, a lot of my walks get repeated because I haven't got a vehicle now. Um, so it's really my energy is used walking um, on my own territory. But really, I would like to have carried on with my family tree research in other parts of the country and use my walking skills there. But because I haven't got a vehicle, and you'd need a vehicle, because a lot of churches and villages are out in the sticks. Uh, sorry if you're in the city. But, uh, put your hat back on, Sheila. Yeah. little bit of indigestion from eating this cheese. Just a little bit. Now I'm hoping there is going to be some shade. It usually is about here. I might have to dip back a bit. So there we go folks. stand back there. Wait a minute, it might be, I might have to go a bit further up a minute. Maybe just round by this bush. I know there was somewhere where there was shade. Um, even if it's the tiniest bit. I'm not walking in. I would if I got felt really bad though. I would. At the moment, the shade's proving hard, but there's another tree there, so we'll carry on. I reckon we'll find some in a minute. All right, over and out for a minute, folks. Right, well, we're coming towards the end of uh, Velvet Bottom now. That's one of the... I, I don't know what that structure is there for, but it would have had a reason. Um, that looks pretty old as well, some of these natural geological structures. And there could be all sorts of things hidden in these bushes. All sorts. So, we started off this morning at quarter to ten. It was a bit later actually, it was three minutes late. From Western Supermare. And he actually did a favour and he didn't do a big loop. He took me first. Then my path a stop. I thought that's really nice of him, you know. And um, so I wasn't behind with my time. There's no rush. I've been taking my time all day. And um, all day I've been taking my time. This is always a bit dodgy, this bit of mine. This is when you hurt your knee. If you're not careful, you twist it. I don't know if it was, would have been easier if I'd gone down that side. I always come this side for some reason. And uh, so I got on the bus. We did a bit of weaving around some houses. And then we got over to Sanford. 
up the road to Churchill at the Nelson's Arms where I got off. There was another pub, but no pubbing. Then made my way to Dobry Warren, skirted the hill fort, and kept on following the bridle paths and the pathways. I'm going to try that next time, that looks easier. And eventually reached the area of outstanding natural beauty where I located the correct route, crossing over the processional route and following a lower track, not right down the bottom, but there's lots of little parallel tracks along the area of outstanding beauty actually. And I passed the, I call it the West Spring and the East Spring. One was totally dry and the other one was trickling about. Taking shade where I could, under trees, shrubs, I made my way right to the other end of the era of outstanding natural beauty. I saw people, a few people in the distance, but I haven't seen anyone at all along here. Nobody. Uh, and in a minute I'll be coming to my gate. And I'll be walking up towards Longwood. I'm leaving Longwood for a year until it heals. And then, um, what I'm doing today is going up the wibbly wobbly track, and then I'm going. There's a pothole there with that uh, wire, with that. Uh, I've pointed out loads of times, <laughs> hidden entrance to a pothole there. So there's Velvet Bottom. And like I said, years ago we came up here with the army cadets playing ambushes, and it reminded me of the charge of the Light Brigade where they were ambushed going up through a valley. I always think of that when they come here for some reason. I think I can see some people sat down by a stone. I'm not sure. So we're nearly at the end of Velvet Bottom and I should be turning right, not left to Black Rock, but right. There is a track right at the top, but I don't use that in the summer months because there's cows in the fields. But I might still have to negotiate cows yet. Depends where they are, over and out.